Well, I found some old dehydrated vegetables that I did 10 years ago. I'm gonna give it a rehydration and taste test. Stick around. So again, these were done in 2010. Uh, this is corn and I just dehydrated on my Excalibur dehydrator uh, from uh, bagged corn, frozen corn, and just laid out one pound of frozen corn goes perfect on one tray of uh, the Excalibur. So it worked out real well. That looks really, really good. Looks about like it did when I dehydrated it and vacuum sealed it. So I'm, I'm impressed with the looks of this. That there is corn also. It does not look so good. So some of these look good, some of these do not. Again, 10 years in a non-air conditioned place. Dark, yes. Climate controlled, no. And uh, all of them except, I had two jars that look like that. And the rest of them are kind of dark. Uh, that one's not quite as dark as those two. And then that is uh, that same thing. Pretty, pretty dark. In fact, that looks pretty degraded. So, so these were all done in 2010. So 11 years ago. And uh, I've got some peas I did too, some dried peas. I had put some in a saucepan, warmed it up, heated it up, boiled it for several minutes to rehydrate. Let me show you what I got. So here it is. It really rehydrated pretty well. Uh, it took several minutes. I stopped it at one point and it still had some dimples in it, almost like a dent corn, a field corn. And uh, my wife said it needed to go a little longer, so I did it a little longer. And uh, so it looks really good, it's soft, rehydrates real well. However, when I tasted it, and I put some salt and pepper in here as I was rehydrating, when I tasted it, it just had no taste. I mean, I could not tell it was corn. It smells like corn, but I could not tell taste-wise that it was corn. Even while it was, while it was boiling and cooking and everything, it, it, it uh, smelled like corn. But it does not taste like corn. So that would mean to me uh, that it's probably lost a lot of its nutritional value. I, you know, I don't know a lot about nutrition and how much a taste has to do with it, especially on older uh, food. I know that uh, the older something stores, if it's not stored you know, really, really good, like with nitrogen or something like that, that it can degrade and not necessarily ruin, but degrade to, to where uh, it loses some of its vitamin potential. So I think that's what's happened here. Again, 11 years, I think it looks pretty, pretty doggone good. Now the light on my camera is making it pretty bright over here, but uh, I think it looks good. It smells a little like corn, a little bit like corn. When it was cooking, it smelled even more. I mean, the, the smell of corn was kind of in the house, so it, it smelled even more so, but I've got to get it pretty close to my nose right now for to, to smell any corn smell. So I'm gonna say, you know, people have asked me how long stuff will last, and I, I usually tell them for years, but I don't know how long, how many years. Um, if you buy things like Mountain House and some of these other places, uh, then they'll last for decades. I think they have, most of them have a 25 year shelf life. Uh, just gotta be careful when it was put on the shelf, when it was packaged and uh, that you get some fresh stock. But I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say this is for, for long term and I'm gonna count anything over five years probably long term. Uh, for long term, I, I, I guess this is a failure. Now, would I eat it if, um, you know, times were hard? Well, I'd certainly try, and if if nobody died, <laughs> then I would probably eat the rest of it. Uh, probably be eating cardboard if times get hard. So anyway, I, you know, my point is, uh, for short term, maybe a year or two, maybe up to five. I really, I, I can't give you a definite number, but um, 
I, I think it's still a viable process to dehydrate, to vacuum pack. Uh, some of these jars have um, not only were vacuum packed with my food saver, but are also helped along with a um, with an oxygen absorber too. So I put usually like a 100 cc O2 absorber in each quart that I do. I don't always do that, but if I have some uh, available, have some handy, I'll, I'll do that. So uh, just to let you know, it looks good, smells kinda good, just did not have any taste. It rehydrated well. I, I think that looks as good as any frozen corn you would get out of the store uh, after you cooked it. So I think it rehydrated real well. It's just uh, a little disappointed in the, in the uh, taste of it. And uh, a little disappointed in the longevity because those other jars were done at the exact same time and they, uh, they don't look so good. They don't look near as good as this does. So it worked on some, <clears throat> maybe not as well on other things. So, uh, is it something you want to do? Yeah, I think so. But, um, just understand that it's not something that you're going to put up on your shelf and your kids and grandkids are going to eat, you know, 40 years down the road. Uh, it's got a shelf life. So don't know what it is, but it's probably not 10 years. All right. Thought I'd show you that. I think it's, for me, it's interesting. And I thought it might interest you also. If you are prone to food storage and you should be, please start storing food. Things are fixing to happen. I'm afraid. So, uh, just take that as a warning and with a grain of salt. Anyway, <clears throat> store some food, get ready for, get ready for inflation. Get ready for whatever's next. All right.